Hi everybody, welcome back. We're gonna continue our talk on the rendering section. So let's get started. Uh, the next one for rendering is gonna be over here. So we're gonna go down to rendering and we're gonna go to the flare layer. Now canvas renderer, I talked about in a previous video. So I'll leave a link up above if you wanna see what the canvas renderer is. And also um, my last video, I talked about the camera component. So check that out. Now flare layer. I'm gonna click flare layer. And what flare layer is, it adds a flare to the camera. So for example, like a little shining light that hits the camera. So I'll show you how to set that up right now. So to have a flare layer, you would have, or for, to have a flare, you have to have this flare layer. It doesn't have no parameters or anything like that, but you have to have the flare layer. And then on your directional light, or wherever your light is coming from, right here where it says flare, you have to add one of the flares. These flares I got from the standard assets. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. It's just the Unity standard assets. And then you could choose, you know, what flare you want. And then when I hit plan, and you can move around. When I look up to, oh, so one thing that, you know, I just made a mistake on and that you guys uh, have to look out for is the intensity. You have to have some kind of intensity. If not, it's like if there was no sun. So I'm gonna put 0.5 and as you can see already, we got this flare on the side. So as you can see, and the higher the intensity, the brighter the flare and the more sunlight you get. Now um, two. Now you, if I change the flares right here, you could see it being updated and you could kind of see it affect the environment as well. I'm just gonna go back to, um, let's go to the sun. I right, see, let's go to something small, yeah. And then, um, let's see what else. And then you could also make, um, if you go to your project panel, and you go to right click, and you go to create, and you go to lens flare, you could also create your own lens flare. So if you create lens flare, you could add your texture and everything like that. And I'll show you how to do that in a later video, because. You could also add elements, you could add color, you could rotate uh, a bunch of different components. And like I said, I'll show you guys in a later video how to do that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the flare. So let's say you don't have uh, on the camera, say you don't have this flare layer, you will not be able to see it as you could see, you can't see it. And uh, yeah, let's leave it like that. Now we're gonna continue on the rendering section and we're gonna continue. Light, I covered light all sorts of lights, directional lights, spotlights, area lights, all that in a separate video. Uh, so check that out. Same with the light probe group and light probes. That video, it was kind of low quality. So if you guys want me to make a, a higher quality video on the light probes, just let me know in the comments below. And then there's light probe proxy volume. I don't think I talked about this in the light probe group, but if we go to the uh, documentation real quick, this pretty much just as you can see, it allows you to use more lighting information for large dynamic game objects. So that cannot use baked light maps. So like uh, particle systems or skin meshes. But what it pretty much does is you would add it to your, your scene. So for example, like this, you wouldn't add it to a camera, of course, but you go to your scene, you could add it to an empty game object, you go light probe, and then it says this component is used by the game object because there's no renderer. Uh oh, so it has to have a renderer. And it also has to have the light probe group. So we would delete this. We would go to this one has a renderer. So we go light probe has a renderer, but there's no light probe group. So what we would have to do is just add a light probe group real quick. And uh, okay, now, now we got the light probe group. Uh, we delete this one because we don't need it. Put a caps on. It says, uh, okay, we added it, but it doesn't know that we added it because we have to bake the, the actual scene. So we go to rendering, lighting, generate lighting. So there you go, it generated the light. So we'll go back to the capsule and we don't got no more warnings or whatever. And now we have that light probe proxy group. And now if we hit play, now we can see kind of a, I don't look much different, but, but yeah, you would pretty much do that and then if you had two areas where let's say it was real dark and real light or for this example right here where it was one side was blue and one side was red it would kind of mix them together 
So as you can see, this blue side is kind of dominating the red side a little bit. And uh, same thing over here, you can see this is with the proxy uh, volume. This is without it. Same thing here. This is with it. So you can see a little bit of red and then this is without it. So you can see the red still, but not as much So you, as you can see. Now uh, you could also, as you can see right here, you could change the resolution modes. So that's pretty much just the, the if we go back, customize it, and we could change the actual resolutions. So if we go to it, you can see it, it adds more uh, like, like light probe. So you get more uh, resolution out of it. And then we could do automatic local or automatic world. So if you want it to be depending on the local space or the world space, or you could have it customized where you could actually move it around wherever you want. And you could also edit the size like this as well. And then you could have uh, the data format to be half floats or floats. If we go over here, uh, so floats are of course more uh, precise. They use 32 bit uh, floating point while this one only uses the 16 bit. And uh, the advantage of this format is that the half float linear texture sampling is supported by the majority of devices. And the precision difference between this format and the 32 bit uh, channel format is not noticeable. So uh, since it's really not noticeable, I'll just keep it a half float. Unless you know you're gonna uh, target like high end devices, then you could just leave it at float. And then there's quality if you want it low quality, high quality, and then uh, refresh if you want it to be automatic, every frame, or by script. So you can't really see it too much because I don't really have the correct setup. But if you really, you guys, if you guys really want to see this light pro proxy volume in action, let me know. Also, let me know about the um, the light probe group video. If you guys want me to make a better quality video, just let me know. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Let me see how much time we got left. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut it here. I'm gonna keep it short. So once again, thank you guys uh, for all the subscriptions. Thank you guys, you know, for all the support, all the comments. If you guys are enjoying this video, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And uh, once again, thank you guys.